everyone and welcome this is Elena and today I have some no-line water coloring using the Concord the 9 you're here stamp set and this is I just love this image it's great for coloring uh, and it's perfect especially for no-line coloring because it doesn't have so many details that you can add as many details as you want or leave them out it's completely up to you so I'm using some Arches uh, cold press watercolor paper in my Misty and I'm centering that, I'm trying to see where I wanted the uh, image to be so I decided to center it instead of being on the side, offset to the side and then I'm securing my uh, watercolor paper with the magnets I'm gonna stamp the image with uh, Antique Linen Distress Ink because it's very easily um, kind of dissolves with water it's kind of water soluble so when I color that those lines will disappear so I'm just stamping that one kind of pressing making sure that I have good coverage the misty is very great for this kind of technique so I'll remove my image and then I have here a wooden board that I'll tape my image to. So I noticed that on the side I didn't have very good impression of the stamp because uh, because of the rough texture of the watercolor paper. So I'm going putting it back in in the misty and stamping that corner. So now it looks good and I'm gonna go back to my wooden board and I'm using some frog tape to tape it down to the board so I have minimal warping of the paper so next um, I'll move on to coloring and I'm using the Mijello, um Mission Gold watercolors the set of 36 and some um, black velvet brushes so I'm using the number 4 so I'm starting with a very dark where I want the darkest part to be and then I'm kind of washing that color off in the water and a paper towel to get lighter um, color. So I'm not doing any color mixing, I'm just using the pure color and I'm repeating this for each petal on the flower on the left. So I'm coloring petals that are not touching, uh, they don't have um, lines that are touching to each other so the area that I already colored has a chance to dry so I'm just going from darkest to lightest by removing some um, paint of the brush and just blending all that in I'm doing that like three to four times for each petal so I have nice gradation of the color and with this as well, the lines that we already stamped with the antique linen uh, distress ink are disappearing because it's pretty light and they're blended in uh, with the watercolor. So I'm just going. Uh, this took me about an hour to color, so I have sped up the video, so you're not uh, you're still seeing a little bit uh, faster version here. In a little bit I'll speed up even more so you're not watching half an hour video of me coloring this image. So I'm just going pedal by pedal slowly. And you notice that I turn the board, it's kind of easier to turn the board than turn my arm. So I'm almost done with this flower. And I really like how the effect and this uh the Mijello water uh, mission gold watercolors are very bright and the color is very saturated that it's kinda amazing. So I'm doing the last petal here and in a second I'll just speed up the video and turn on some music so you can enjoy watching the full process of watercoloring the whole image. So just color the only part and move on the other fl flower so that part has time to dry.
now I'm done with the uh, coloring and I left the image to dry next I'll just trim it to four by five and a quarter and so I can mat it onto black card base so I'm using some vellum I wanted to add the, vel uh, the sentiment on vellum so it doesn't really interfere with my image I felt bad stamping over it because I spent an hour coloring it so I'm just doing it on vellum and I'm gonna um, adhere that image over the colored heart so I'm embossing with some Hero Arts white embossing powder and heat setting it I'm just gonna do that there and I'm tying the strip, kind of adhering the strip on the back so um, you're not able to see any glue dots or anything in the front I'll just add a couple uh, mini actually micro glue dots under the sentiment under the embossed part so you're not even able to see them next I'm just applying some Tomba Multi um, adhesive on the back and adhering that to my card base and adding some uh, sequins to add a little bit more kind of interest to the card so this is the final card thanks for watching and see you soon bye